Hello everyone. Welcome to 360 on History, your one-stop resource for blogs, podcasts and videos on science, history and nature. Please check out the website 360onhistory.com. Join us on social media and subscribe to 360 on History podcast on YouTube. You can also subscribe to the audio version wherever you get your podcasts. Recognize this piece of music? Even if you don't know what it is, chances are you would have heard it. It is perhaps the most recognizable piece of music ever written. Symphony number no. 5 by Ludwig van Beethoven. A German composer and pianist, Beethoven's compositions are amongst the most performed classical music. We don't know his exact date of birth, only that he was born in Bonn, Germany. in a house now known as Beethoven House Museum the date of his baptism is 17th december 1770 and this gives an indication because it was a general custom at this time to baptize children within 24 hours of birth so 2020 makes it the 250th anniversary of his birth which is why i have decided to celebrate beethoven in this post He learned music initially from his father and later from other teachers who taught him piano and the violin. His music instruction by his father was extremely harsh and intensive, often re- reducing him to tears. One of his teachers, Tobias Friedrich Pfeiffer, was an insomniac and would drag the young Beethoven out of bed to learn the keyboard. His father, Johann Beethoven, wanted to promote him as a child prodigy and claimed that Ludwig was 6 on the posters of his first public performance he was 7 Beethoven's most important teacher was Christian Gottlob Neef with whom he began his music instruction in 1780 or 81 and wrote his first three piano sonatas in 1782 and 1783 at the age of 11 and 12 The elector of Bonn, Maximilian Franz, supported him and appointed him court organist. There is no record of his activities as a composer during 1785 to 1790, probably because of his home environment. His mother died in 1787, and in 1789, his father was forcibly retired from the service of the court due to alcoholism. Beethoven contributed to the family income by teaching music which he hated and by playing the viola in the court orchestra. During this time he was introduced to works by famous musicians such as Mozart and Haydn and probably met both of them during his travels. Beethoven left for Vienna in 1792 where he studied the works of the recently deceased Mozart. His compositions at this time have a distinct Mozartian flavor. In Vienna, he studied with Haydn. Born fell to France by this time and Beethoven stayed in Vienna where he was supported by a number of noblemen. By 1793, although he gained a reputation as a piano virtuoso, he withheld his works from publication so that they would have a greater impact when he eventually did release them. He published his first works after his first Viennese performance in 1795. From then on, he continued to publish more and more compositions and with the premieres of his first and second symphonies in 1800 and 1803, his reputation as one of the most important of a generation of young composers after Mozart and Haydn was set. Beethoven's own distinctive style set him apart from the masters as well as his com- contemporaries and he began to see huge financial success from his concerts. His brother started to manage his affairs, negotiating higher prices for compositions and selling his unpublished works. What set Beethoven apart from all the other masters was that from 1802 onwards he started losing his hearing. which he attributed to a fit because of a fight with a singer in 1798 and he suffered from severe tinnitus 
He moved to a small Austrian town just outside Vienna on his doctor's advice from April to October 1802 to come to terms with his condition. His letters and other documents that he wrote during this time and which were discovered after his death reveal his thoughts of suicide due to his deafness but also point to his resolution to continue living for and through his art. In 1806, he wrote on one of his musical sketches, let your deafness no longer be a secret, even in art. Beethoven's loss of hearing did not prevent him from composing music, but it made it very difficult for him to play at concerts and it contributed to his social withdrawal. After his return to Vienna, he changed his musical style, showcased in his third symphony, originally called Bonaparte, because he had dedicated it to Napoleon, but he scratched out Napoleon's name from the manuscript after he declared himself Emperor of France. Because it diverged from his earlier style, it received a mixed reaction. Some considered it a masterpiece, while others objected to its length. During this period, known as the Heroic Period, he wrote symphonies number 4th through 8th, the Violin Concerto, one of his best-known violin concertos, as well as his only opera, Fidelio. Beethoven's income during this time came from, his, from publishing his works, from performances, and from stipends from his patrons, for whom he gave private performances and copies of his works, they commissioned for an exclusive period prior to their publication. His most important patron was Archduke Rudolf of Austria, who studied piano with him and the two remained friends. The shadow of war hung over Vienna in 1809 and Beethoven's work during this period shows this. He left Vienna with the royal family, prompting a number of works to mark the occasion. The occupation of Vienna and his failing health are the reasons for his low output during this time, but he continued to write some notable works. At the end of 1809, he wrote music for Goethe's poem, Egmont, and he further set three of Goethe's poems as songs. He admired Goethe and his work, writing, the admiration, the love and esteem, which already in my youth, I cherished for the one and only immortal Goethe have persisted. Beethoven's health deteriorated in 1811 and he moved to Teplitz, where in 1812 he wrote a 10 page love letter to his immortal beloved. No one knows who this is. There are speculations that it could be Antony Brentano, an art patron and one of his close friends. Another candidate is Teresa Malfatti, his doctor's niece to whom he had proposed when he was 40 and she was 19. She rejected the proposal and it is thought that another one of his famous compositions, Fur Elise, was written for her. It is one of his most popular compositions, never published during his lifetime and discovered 40 years after his death. Do you recognize it? From 1813 onwards, Health, family issues and war affected his work, although he did revive his compositions after Napoleon's defeat and regained his popularity. His last solo performance was in April and May of 1814. Apparently, the piano was out of tune during this performance, but he did not hear it. By 1818, he had to use notebooks for conversations because his hearing had deteriorated so much, although he never lost complete use of his ears and could hear loud noises. He kept writing notable works such as the Diabelli Variations and Missa Solemnis, as well as the Ninth Symphony, which he composed between 1822 and 1824, and which is regarded by many as his greatest work and a supreme achievement in the history of Western music. He completed his final composition in November 1825 when he was already ill and very depressed. His condition became severe in December 1826 and Beethoven died on March 26, 1827. 
His autopsy reveals severe liver damage due to alcohol consumption. An estimated 10,000 people attended his funeral procession. Gethe said of him, His talent amazed me. Unfortunately, he is an utterly untamed personality who is not altogether wrong in holding the world to be detestable, but surely does not make it any more enjoyable by his attitude. Thank you for joining me on 360 on History for this celebration of Beethoven. See you next time. Mm -hmm.